we are going to discuss choosing a hashing function because depending upon this hashing function how many buckets we are going to have and how many overflow chains we can minimize that will be decided. So selection of hash function is a very critical issue in hash indexing. So goal of H map search key values randomly occupancy of each bucket roughly same for an average instance of indexed table. So that means this hash function must be selected must be chosen in such a way that the probability of occurrence of a certain such key value V which will be mapped on the respective buckets the probability for each and every bucket must remain the same. That means in the buckets this records the respective index entries must be evenly distributed so that we can reduce the number of overflow chains. Example h of v is equal to c1 star v plus c2 mod of n. Here this c1 and c2 are the constants and this mod of m is also another constant variable that is integer type. Okay. Now see whenever you are going for this mod of m that means the value whatever is going to be obtained ultimately from this expression will be ranging from 0 to m minus 1. So, for the larger value of m the range will get elongated for smaller value of m this m will get the range will get reduced to some extent. So, m must be large enough to minimize the occurrence of overflow chains. So, if we have this larger value of m then we can point we have the multiple number of pointers accordingly and so that the probability of occurrence of the overflow chains will be minimized. We know that whenever we are having the overflow chains will be there then obviously the searching cost will be enhanced the searching complexity will be increased in that case. But M should not be must be uh, must not be so large that the bucket occupants is small and too much space is getting wasted. So that means I should not select M to a very large value so that most of the possible combinations of M possible values for M against which I am not getting any bucket. So space will get wasted for that. So we will be going for more detailing through this respective example. So now see this hash function we can select as a division method. Let us suppose there is one employee ID. The employee ID whatever you have selected is 1569. So now you see in case of division method we are selecting this particular value for m that is the mod of m we know. So here we have taken m is equal to 32. So 1569 mod of m so here you see I am getting the hash at this 1. So it will be going to the bucket number 1 in that case. There is another method that is a mid square method. So here this is 1569 square I have taken. So this is the square of the of that employee id and you are taking the middlemost two digits. So discarding the last two discarding the first three I am taking this middlemost so that is uh, 1 7 so I am taking this 1 7 as the hash address. Also I, I, could, I, I can discard the first two I can discard the last three I can take 61 also. Uh, if we select this uh, mid square method accordingly then that will be applicable for all the employee ids which are going to be stored on the hash index. So another one is the folding method. We can divide this number as 15 plus 69. So this is the required hash address. Otherwise I can also go for 15 plus 96. So the respective sum whatever is going to be obtained that can be treated as a hash address. So so many different ways in which you can select the hash address. But the things must be kept in mind that the hash address range should not be very large so that most of the spaces are getting wasted and the hash addresses range should not be very narrow so that the overflow chains will be occurring and that will enhance the cost of searching. Thanks for watching this video.